Hi, I'm Chris from DynoJet. In this video, we're going to install a Power Commander 5 on this Ducati Hyper Motard 821. We're going to need to remove the fuel tank to install this, so we're going to go ahead and get started by pulling the seat and the bodywork around the fuel tank. Now that we have the bodywork removed, we're going to start pulling off the fuel tank, starting with this cross member bracket. We're going to start disconnecting the fuel tank by removing the fuel pump cover at the bottom of the tail. That'll give us access to our fuel line and our uh, electrical connector. Next, we're going to disconnect the electrical connector from the bottom of the fuel pump, and we're going to disconnect the high pressure fuel line. Next, we'll remove this bolt at the bottom of the tail. Then we'll remove the two bolts at the front of the tank on both sides. Next I'll loosen the vent line from the top of the fuel tank. Next we'll remove the ECU. And now we should be able to lift the fuel tank out of place. So now that I have the fuel tank removed, I'm going to start routing my power commander harness. Uh, first I'm going to come to my negative battery terminal. I'm going to secure my power commander wire with the small ring lug to the negative terminal of the battery. Next I'll need to tap my single unterminated gray wire on the power commander. This is our throttle position signal input. We're going to attach that to the stock throttle position signal wire. Very carefully remove the back of the larger ECU connector to expose the wires inside. Locate the stock orange wire with blue tracer in pin position number 48. We're going to secure our supplied 3M posi tap to that stock orange blue wire. So we'll insert the stock wire into the gray nut of the posi tap, and then we'll thread the pointed end of the posi tap over the gray nut. We'll remove the red nut from the posi tap, slide that over the gray wire. We'll insert the gray wire into the posi tap and we'll thread the red nut down on top of it. I'm going to lay the posi tap down inside the connector as flat as possible so I can reinstall the cover. So we're going to start routing our power commander harness down the left hand side of the bike just inside the frame rail. Our first connection we're going to come to is to our rear fuel injector and that's right here on top of the rear throttle body. After unplugging our rear fuel injector, we're going to plug the Power Commander leads with the yellow colored wires in line with the rear injector. I'm going to loosen the radiator mounting bolts to help route the rest of the harness. I'm going to route the Power Commander harness between the frame and the air box towards the very front of the bike. And then I'm going to pass the harness over to the right hand side of the bike just behind the radiator. Here at the front of the engine, just behind the radiator, I could find my front fuel injector. I'm going to unplug it, and the Power Commander leads with the orange colored wires are going to go in line with the front fuel injector. I'm also going to find my crank position sensor connectors right here, just to the right of the front throttle body. I'm going to disconnect the stock crank position sensor connectors, and I'm going to plug the Power Commander in line with those. Before I start reinstalling the fuel tank, it's important to go ahead and tie up the harness directly on top of the stock harness. You don't want to be off to the side. This bike has some pretty tight clearances. So I'm going to use the supplied zip ties. Use one here, right here, and right here. And now I can start putting the fuel tank back in. Once the fuel tank and the ECM are back in place, you can go ahead and secure the Power Commander module with the supplied Velcro to the top of the ECM and continue reassembling the bike.